Well, a little bit of history for the Grand Rapids Griffins tonight. It will for the first time ever play here in Springfield, Massachusetts, a city that has hosted an American Hockey League franchise since 1936. The Griffins have been in the AHL for 22 years, and yet this will be the first meeting ever with the Thunderbirds. Hi, everybody. Bob Kayser inside Mass Mutual Center in downtown Springfield. You know, it's one thing the fans love to see new teams. You would attest to that back home, and even for veteran players. It's nice to get into some different territory, and that includes Griffins captain Brian Lashaw. Yeah, it's definitely fun to go to some different cities and play some teams that you haven't played before. I mean, I've been in this league a while and I haven't played this team before, so it'll be fun to see some guys that we play with, too, on the other side, so um, it'll be a good, good, uh, good game. You've been in this league since the dinosaurs just became extinct. <laughs> it's been a while, yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> well, he's not quite in T-Rex category, but this will be Lashaw's 599th AHL game that I many of them, of course, are wins including this past Wednesday uh, when the Griffins knocked off Iowa 6-2, to two, thanks in large part to Magnus Helberg in the second game of his conditioning assignment from Detroit. He was terrific in turning aside 40 of 42 Iowa shots. Yeah, I mean, I'm just happy to, to be back in action and, and play some games with the boys. Uh, obviously, I, I saw a lot of pucks and... Uh, that's what I like. So, no, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun playing lately. Well, it was a big game for Stephen Camper as well. Uh, three points, including two goals. And uh, with that, also avoided losing a bet. Yeah, I made a bet with uh, Brad Dog Thompson, our equipment manager, um, before last game. He said that I needed to start doing something offensively. So we had a bet that if I had uh, two points, I didn't have to shave my head into a mohawk. So um, I guess everything kind of lined up perfectly for that one. So, um, I mean, we'll make another bet down here pretty soon. Well, the Griffins against Springfield tonight will meet up with a couple of old teammates in uh, Luke Witkowski and Marty Furkin. You can bet on one thing, the Griffins defenders are going to have to guard against that big bomb of Marty Furkin. has got some unusual stats this year, 25 goals, but 12 assists. What's going on, Marty? Uh, well, a lot of things, but now, uh, yeah, different opportunity here in, uh, in the Springfield. You know, it's uh, different than L.A., and, uh, yeah, I'm uh, enjoying my time here now, uh, and... Uh, yeah, the stats, yeah, they don't look uh, as normal as usual, but, uh, you know, that's uh, sometimes you have a season like that, so hopefully, hopefully I can put some pucks in and maybe a couple tonight. Well, speaking of offensive weapons, the Griffins get some help today in the form of Elmer Soderblom on assignment for the Detroit Red Wings. He's slated to be on a line with fellow countryman Pontus Andreasen and Joel Esperance. Again, hope you'll join us tonight from Springfield, Griffins and Thunderbirds, 7 o'clock on the air on Wood Radio.